Come on, Scarlet Runner, come on, get a move on. Oh, what do you do? She's left it too late. Yes, she will. But here comes Scarlet Runner up on the outside. Oh, you beautiful creature. Following him on the inside. Half a furlong to go, do it for your own, Kate. Well, it's dropping back last. Well, inside the final furlong, and Scarlet Runner quickly drawing clear. Scarlet Runner is going to fall right. Well, it's clear. And up the line, Scarlet Runner. Oh, don't give me the pity. Oh, I tell you, I felt lucky, eh? No, no, hang about, hang about, hang about. Uh, let's see. Ten by two. Eleven thousand three hundred and seventy pounds. It's too much, Jack. I can't take half of that. Yes, you can. We made a deal, remember? You know something, Jack? Yeah? You're a lovely man. Infuriating. Unreliable, but lovely. How can I ever thank you? Well, you could take me out to dinner. You're on. Ah, only half an hour late. I was expecting a very long wait. A drink? Oh, something long and cool. Balman? Leave it to me. <sighs> Thank you. So, what have you brought? Presents to take home. Mostly just fun things. Ah, uh, these are for Dad and Leo. Aha. Uh -huh. And <laughs> this is for Mum. Ah, wonderful. With... Oh, outrageous. I'm sure she will adore that. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Nothing for yourself? Well, I have to admit to a couple of things. Uh, try that, lady. I got a daughter. Likes them just the way I make them. Looks gorgeous. What is it? Bacardi, club soda, pineapple juice. Mm. Wonderful. Nah, on a house. Hey, I saw your picture on a television. You sell that little boat all the way from England? Lady, you deserve that drink. Thank you. Everyone's being so kind. I wish I could see the rest of the states. Why don't we hire a car and drive to California? Oh, I wonder what your mother would think. I don't know. You think she'd be jealous? My English is not perfect, but don't you mean envious? No, I meant what I said. Well, I don't understand. Why should she be jealous? You tell me. Now you are being méchante, mademoiselle. First, you take your father's boat without permission, and now you make wicked accusations against your mother. Just testing. Uh -huh. So, where are we going for lunch? A little place where I used to eat in Greenwich Village. Used to? When? When I studied here at the College of Art, before I decided that they had nothing to teach me. You mean you didn't learn anything? Well, yes, I learned where to eat in New York. <laughs> no, Steve, absolutely not. We can't use it. Why not? Guess what? Well, what more do you want? Masters draws out £2,000 in cash. Two days later, Moffat deposits the same amount. How could they explain that? Easily. Gambling debt, sale of a piece of furniture, consultancy fee. Well, that would mean they knew each other socially, in which case Moffat should have declared an interest. Well, how do you know he didn't? You weren't present at all the planning committee meetings? I could find out from Hilary Fuller. We've still got to explain how he came by this information. I can't risk a complaint to the press council unless we can prove conclusively that this money was a bribe. He was so confident, so sophisticated. All the things I'm not. I suppose it was the attraction of opposites. How old was he? About 40. It was part of the attraction. He was so different from the Hooray Henrys I'd been used to. Hooray Henrys? Immature young men who cared more about themselves than me. And Charles wasn't any different in that respect. But he was rich and powerful. I know what you're thinking. Women are supposed to find men like that irresistible. And do they not?
I think perhaps you have been unlucky. Not all men are like Charles. Tell me one who isn't. Me. But you're a fashion designer. To you, women are just clothes horses. That depends upon the woman. What did you say? He's killed it. He said the proof I've got isn't conclusive. Oh, by the way, our friend over there is a private detective. His name's Albert Jackson, and he runs an agency in London. Why would he be watching us? Maybe Ken Masters hide him to see if you break the law. Well, then he's wasting his time. We're not that stupid. Hello, what's all this then? You're out of order, Sunshine. You're holding up progress. Right. What's it got to do with you? We're on the dole, and there could be a couple of hundred jobs in this lot. We just want them to move it somewhere else, that's all. And we want it right here. So why don't you naff off, eh, and then there won't be any bother? Why should there be any bother? This is a peaceful protest. Not now it ain't, pal. <laughs> Love will be